Welcome back people, we've got another video for you guys here again today. This is Fishing Planet. Today I'm going to show you... I've done a, so many different videos on Fishing Planet at this point. I've done videos on all fish missions, all fish monster missions. We've shown all hot spots. We've got a playlist of just Fishing Planet. 600 plus videos. I've played this game for 7 years. If you never want to miss out on updates, tips and tricks and all of that good stuff, I recommend you subscribe here. Smack that like button if you've got any comments, do leave it in the comment section below. I always try to respond to every comment. If you want to become a member and support the channel, you don't have to, it's not a requirement, but if you want to, the link for that is in the description below, as well as other links for my TikTok. I put videos on there that I don't put on YouTube. There's always different content on TikTok. Instagram and Twitter, I definitely recommend following on one of those. Probably Twitter more than anything else, and TikTok. TikTok for the videos and Twitter for the notifications in case because sometimes I do put out a lot of videos in one day when these updates on Fishing Planet drop we'll always live stream that face cam and mic and that's when the videos the YouTube gets overloaded with tons and tons of different stuff I'm going to show you today how to set up rods and as well as setting up rods um, I'm going to show you with mouse I'm on PC today I'm going to show you on mouse and keyboard and then I'm also going to show you on controller at the same time so that way you guys know how to equip your rod this is my typical best rod at the minute best bottom rod feeder rod this is the rod that we have here at the minute now this is the Mocky rod I always call it Mocky just for short um, yeah so this is how I got it set up now I always have my rods set for max drag we're not talking about max drag in this video, although this is set up to max drag. I'm not going to explain max drag. We've got other videos on max drag, and I probably will make an up-to-date video on uh, on max drag coming very soon. I'll probably link that at the end. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, it's going to be coming soon, so make sure you subscribe. Okay, so equipping rods. How to set up your how to set up a rod setup. Now there's so many different rods in this game, so many different ways to set it up. So I'm here to show you. Hopefully you managed to understand everything clearly. So this rod is already set up. I'm going to take this rod off and put it into my home storage so we've got an empty slot there. So we can show you how we set it up. Now how do I move that over? I clicked on it, I dragged and I dropped it over to my home storage. Now we have other rod setups that are different here. We've got a different, few different rod setups. So we've got a spinning rod setup, we have a float rod setup, we have a bottom rod setup and we also have a different bottom rod that's a different setup so I'm going to show you how to set up each and every one of all different types of rods if we can try to remember to add all of them hopefully we can okay so in this empty slot we're going to select rod I'm going to select over to my home storage now if I'm doing this how do I do this on controller well I said I'm going to show you that as well so now I'm going to be using an Xbox controller just for a, sh a second I'm going to show you so if I want to move it over now Xbox controller I will be pressing A to unequip now if you're using a PlayStation you would press X okay so I'm gonna press A to unequip which is for the Xbox controller you will be pressing X if you're on PlayStation so let's press that and there you go it's removed everything from there and it's put it all back to my home storage apart from the reels which you see here on the side which we can always quickly give those a quick little repair just like so there you go okay so starting off on we go to the home now I will click home again if you're on controller how would you do that you would press R1 on um, PlayStation in this case I press R oh no sorry you press R2 on PlayStation in this case I will press RT because I'm on the Xbox controller that moves us over to the home storage and we can use our analog stick the left analog uh, sorry the right analog stick jeez come on bowls I can use the right analog stick now to go through the different rods that I own now if you don't own a rod you can press R1 or in this case I will press RB because I'm on Xbox controller I can go along to here now I'm using the left analog stick I can scroll down through different rods now if I just want to see all the rods I just select rods which I will press A if you're on PlayStation you'd press X if you're on mouse and controller you would click rods when these come up here you can purchase many different types of rods pressing R2 
to scroll through or pressing the right trigger button on PlayStation or Xbox controller. That's what I'm going to say, right trigger button. That's easier to go through. Now, if I use the left analog stick, uh, no, sorry, the um, right analog stick, wait for it. I can choose, there you go, right analog stick. I can choose different rods. If I want to go to the next page, I'll press the R2, which is right trigger button. That change me to the next page using the right analog stick to choose which rod I want to purchase. Press right trigger button. That's right trigger button. All different rods there. Going through all of them. Again, using the left analog stick, I would click buy with the mouse cursor if I wanted to purchase that. If I wanted to purchase it with a controller, I would. I'm going to purchase one. I'm just going to purchase a cheap one. Just for the demonstration, I would press X or I would press A on an Xbox controller. Click buy with a mouse. Do that, there you go, I've purchased it. Now once I've purchased that, it will throw it into my empty slot right here. Now, if we move over onto the guy, here we can select our home storage and we can go to here, this one, and we can drag over different boats. Just click on it, keep your finger clicked down, drag it over, let go. And there you go, there's my boat selected. Now if I'm on controller, I would use the left analog stick and I would choose what boat I wanted. I would then press A or if I'm on PlayStation, I would click X at this point. And then there you go, that's moved it over into here. Now we also need a rod bag. So for a rod bag, we select this one above. Let's, yeah, let's talk about this one here above first. So that's how we move the boats over for the, uh, don't worry, I'm gonna show you the rods. Now, for, if I wanna add a jacket, if, if I own any jackets, I will click on it, drag it over, or I will click on there, I will click A or X if you're on PlayStation. If we go into the shop, if you don't have a jacket, you can also go to, um, well, it's been a short minute, come on, there you go. Tools and equipment, go down, to whatever you're after. Now I would select outfit, and then here we can always buy a vest. These vests are gonna allow you to carry more stuff with your fishing. That allows me to carry 60 more tackles, five lines. Now storage boxes, if we come over to my inventory again, I have a this storage box right here. I can actually take that off and drop it into my home storage like so. I can repair it there on the spanner, click yes. Now, if I wanted to repair it on a controller, I would click Y. In this case, PlayStation, you would click Triangle, Repair. I would press X if I was on PlayStation, A if I'm on Xbox controller. Now, to equip it, I click down, drag over and drop, or I use the right analog stick to choose what I want. And I would press A or X at this point on PlayStation controller. There you go, it's moved over. So jackets are the same works the same way, rod bags, um, sunglasses, you can buy sunglasses and then drag those over, and then same goes as nets, in this case I've got a stringer there, I have to press X or A to select that, or click down with the mouse, drag over and drop just like that. Whilst I'm here, I'm going to click repair, put my big net back on because that's the one I like to use. Okay, same goes as the catapult. Yeah, you can purchase that. Same goes as hats, you can purchase those. Um, going over to the rod, I purchased that rod there. So if I wanna get a reel, I go to the shop, I go to reels. In this case, I would go to spin reel, purchase a reel. I've already got a reel, so in my case, I'm gonna go to inventory, I'm gonna go to home, select the rod there, scroll down, and I will see the rod, the, the reels that I own here. If not, you would purchase a reel. Now, just for a demonstration type, I'm gonna put on there a, I need to put on, what rod is that? That's two to four pounds, so I'm gonna put on this seven pound. I'll click on it, drag it over. If you're on, and then, well, click down, wait until it's highlighted, release, there you go. Release the button, it's on there. Now, if I was doing that on controller, I would use the right analog stick to choose what reel and X if you're on PlayStation to equip it at this point or I would press A with the Xbox controller. There you go, that's been equipped. But then I would select line there, I would click it with the mouse. 
Now, if I didn't have the, the mouse, and again, I'm on controller, I would use the, at this point, I would use the uh, left analog stick, is it? No, oh, hold on. Okay, now it's the D-pad, sorry. So I press up and down on the D-pad to change to line, lures, baits, all that different stuff. So I'm gonna go there. Um, first we need to, okay, now we did equip that. But now we need line, so I'm gonna go to line, and I'm gonna use my right, analog controller scroll down to whatever line that I like in this case I'm going to use eight pounds I would click and drag and drop over on uh, on mouse with the controller I hit a or I would hit X at this point on PlayStation controller I can click X at this point again on PlayStation controller or a on Xbox controller to cut the line that is that equipped now I'm going to show you with that with real quick with the mouse I would click and hold down release click cut there you go there's my line now if we go down one here we select this one now on controller I press down on the d-pad to move to floats if I haven't got a float I'd purchase a float I click down on it hold a drop if not if I'm using a controller right analog stick I would click the A button at that point you would click X on on, uh, X on PlayStation wow and then if we scroll down we can add ourselves a hook and a leader so in this case I would select A or X on the controllers A for the Xbox controller X on PlayStation in this case for mouse and keyboard I'd click down on the mouse drag it over so you can see it's highlighted there it shows me where to put it and I'd release there you go now doing that on controller I'd press a there you go that's a quip now I'd press down on the d-pad or I'd select bait with the mouse choose which bait I like at this point so I want some red worms I would drag and drop over keeping the mouse click down as you can see it's highlighted or on controller you'd use the right analog stick oh, the mouse is interfering there sorry and then click A at this point or X on PlayStation controller. There you go, it's now been equipped. That's how we set up our rod. Now it works the same way for many different rods. Now doing a spinning rod, I would grab a spinning rod out of my home. I'd drop it in there. I'd get a spinning multiplier reel and I would drag and drop that into there. We've shown how to do the line. The leader works pretty much the same way. So we go into lines we select a leader if we take that leader off we'll put a leader this rod is 66 pounds so i want if i want a leader on this if it's a feeder rod or even a spinner rod if i want to have a leader i will select anything above 66 pound because i like to use max drag so there's 70 pound i could use that click or drop and drag just like so and then i would go to my lure or jig bait if i wanted to use a jig Put a jig on there go up put that drag and drop and then moving over same goes as crankbaits i would just drag and drop over if not drag and drop i would select um a there you go just like that float rods we've shown you spinning rods we've shown you the bottom rod works similar same way i'd put a bottom rod in there choose a reel in this case I've got my line 88 pound so if we scroll down here um, into my backpack instead of my home I've got some fresh 88 pound line there drop that onto there click cut there we go and then for a feeder we're going to show you drag and drop and then I want myself um, line I want myself a leader leader on there which that one I use mono leaders for that one. Sorry, why is it not? Why is it only showing them hooks? Ooh. It's only showing them hooks. Where's my leaders? Did I move them over to here? Carp leaders work the same way. Mono leaders, there you go. Okay, so select. Now that is in my home storage. I want that to be in my backpack so I can take it with me. I just click, drop, drop and drag into my backpack. Now if I'm on controller for that, my mouse keeps interfering, sorry guys. Oh, 
on, come on. Work with me again. There we go, right. So there's something in my home and I want to move that over into my backpack. I go to whatever it is, in this case it's my mono leader, and I would press X. At this point you'd press square on your PlayStation controller. There you go. And now if I go over to my backpack I can click it or I can press, oh, I can click it or I can press L2, meaning the left trigger button. Go back to my home storage uh, backpack, sorry, and then in here you will see the mono leader, 86 pound. That's how you move it from there to there, from home storage. If I want to move something from my backpack into my home storage, I can click, drag and drop over into the home. Or if not, I can press at any time X or square in this case if I want to move that from my backpack over into my home storage. Now your backpack is what you take fishing with you and your home storage is when you come back to the main menu when you're here. So going back to the inventory here, I'm gonna apply a hook. Again, there isn't a hook there that I want, although I would like to have a free barbless hook. Barbless hooks always give you more XP, so always use those. These hooks I'm gonna drop and drag, as you can see there, look at that dropping and dragging all of those into my backpack. Now on controller I would keep pressing X or square in this case if you're on PlayStation to move it into my backpack. And my mouse keeps interfering. There we go. Alright, X series move that over. The bell, I would like to move that over. A couple of bells I'd like to move over there. So I'm going to move all of them bells over, just like that. And then if I wanted to move line, same, same thing, I'd press square at this point, or I'd press X on my um, controller. Move that over. Okay. Left trigger button to come back to here. If I wanted to sell something, I would hold my finger on B, or hold my finger on circle, or I'd press that to sell. If I wanted to sell it with the controller, uh, the mouse, I would select the cash sign and then go to yes to sell. I hope this video helped you out. That's a little quick demonstration on how to set up your rod. Of course, you can leave it in the comment section below if there's anything else that you would like to know. It's not that difficult once you get the hang of it. If you're new, obviously, to it, it can take you a little bit of time to get used to. But it is quite simple to get used to. It just takes a little bit of practice. That little bit of practice takes time. Very easy to move things over if you're on controller. Because it will always tell you at the bottom here where to and how to do it. What button does what. It will always say there at the bottom. So keep that in mind. Mouse and controller. Uh, mouse and keyboard makes it a little bit more easy because you can just click on it. Hold down drag it over. Easy done. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on the next one. We'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.